What's going on guys? It's Robert the iOS Informer. And so iOS 5 Beta 6 was just released to developers yesterday afternoon. So you're probably wondering how's the performance in comparison to iOS 4.3.5, um, just iOS 4.3 in general and for Verizon iPhones, uh, iOS 4.2.10 I think it is. Um, but yeah, so how's the performance in comparison to iOS 4 and iOS 5, the previous iOS 5 betas? Um, so yeah, so like it probably would be, beta 1 for iOS 5 was just, it wasn't the best. Um, so each time it got continuously better. And so now we're on beta 6 and performance is nearing its peak. So we're getting ready to see the final release of this. I'm going to go ahead and launch a few apps as fast as I can to show you how it runs um, in a snappy way. I guess. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do this really fast. You can see the apps are just flying open. The animations are slick and smooth. Um, little or no lag at all. Go ahead and open up multitasking. You see that's very smooth. Notification center flies. Um, so yeah, there's, there's little or no lag to this. Um, it performs very well, especially to be a beta. But it's what it's what you should expect from Apple's iOS. Go ahead and lock it, unlock it. See it still unlocked smooth. Um, keep in mind this is on an iPod Touch fourth generation. So yeah, it's pretty much the latest model, I guess, besides iPhone four. But anyways, yeah. So this is performance on iOS five beta six. Um, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and comment if you're having any problems, if you need help with anything. Yeah, stuff like that. And be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.